day at your work because I know your families are proud of you, your communities are proud of you, and your union is so, so proud of you. But, but I, need to be on, I need to be honest, not everybody does value you. Not everybody does respect you. Some people want to drive you into poverty and drive you out of the public sector. And every single one of them is sitting in the Tory cabinet in Westminster. In the last six years, the average public sector worker has had £13,000 stolen out of their pay, even just to match the rate of inflation. That isn't by chance, that isn't by accident, that is deliberate, conscious political decisions. And for other people, other decisions were made. In those six years, the chief executives of the FTSE 100 companies have a day, they've seen their pay rise by 10%. MPs have seen their pay rise by 15%. And shareholders in private companies have seen their dividends increase by 58%. When a, when a Tory MP tells you that there's very complex reasons why a nurse has to go to a food bank. I'm expecting you to answer with either one word or two words. <laughs> and as it's a family day, I'll let you sort out the words yourself. But let's be very clear, there is only one reason any public sector worker needs to use a food bank, and that's because they don't get paid enough, and it's got to end now. Yeah. in Westminster, because the Tories in Westminster don't say Scot Scottish public sector pay. That's the Scottish government and the Scottish employers. So we've got a message for you as well. Now's the time to make a decision and make a choice. You either stand with the Tories and cut public sector wages and cut public services, or you stand with us and build public services up and pay people a decent wage for the work they do. It's time now to pay up for public services and it's absolutely time to increase the pay of public sector workers. Have a great day, thanks very much.